Okay, now so the second part of the four variables I spoke about is the screenshots. Now here I have the same app uh, that I brought up on the Play Store and you have a new app on the App Store just to show you a bit of diversity. Um, this is another app that I was working on. It's about uh, business cards. So what I want you to consider and, and look at and think about is that they're both actually very similar. So in this journaling app, you can see that we clearly communicate what the app is. So you get there, okay, and you right away you know this is a smart journal, intelligent journal. Okay, I get it. This app was also awarded in the number one journaling app, and it was featured a bunch of times in, in the app stores and play stores. So we want to put any words very visible because you have sort of social proof. Now, it is best practice to use the phone and the phone frame in the actual screenshots. I highly recommend this. I'm not sure why, but people actually click and convert better when they can visualize the app with the actual app, uh, with the phone frame. Now, I've tested this a lot of times, and every time the test show pretty clearly that when you include a frame, also is the same here, a frame of the phone, uh, people actually convert better. So just make sure you're using the latest phone. Here we have the iPhone X. Um, and also, if you are in the, play, the Google Play Store, that you show the actual Android phone. And the rest of the apps, the rest of the, the screenshots, show, communicate the value and what you can expect and what you can see. So there's a, there's a different number of, of, of screenshots you, you can include. Now, you should include as many screenshots um, as you think are valuable or every time you have a point to communicate. And I would highly recommend that you include sort of a unique selling point. So here we say your personal mindfulness companion and then you show what we're actually talking about, right? So you have a, have a sort of a little text explaining what it is and then show the app. Now this app is very similar. So we say what it is, it's a new digital business card. And you can right away understand what it is all about, right? Every time we have a new value, it's about a conference and meetings, you know right away. The tr truth is, this is the best way to communicate your app because the actual app description, it's only read by about, I think, 5% of the people. So you really, this is your sort of the biggest real estate on the entire app store is the screenshots. You should really, really consider highly. Now the keywords are important to get you ranking high, right? To, to make sure that you're found by people. But once your app is found, the screenshots, that's the thing that's gonna communicate uh, the value and the screenshots are the thing that people decide, do I wanna download this app, yes or no? So really invest some time into screenshots. Now I'm gonna give you a bonus um, for this lecture and just because of your students in this course, I will give you the, the files, the original files for these screenshots. Uh, they're gonna be in Sketch. Sketch is a, uh, a uh, software for, for graphic designers, but you can download it and you, and you can use the, there's a 30 day free trial. So you can download it for free and then you know it, it takes just uh, uh, maybe a couple hours to design this yourself. So you can do it during the, the first 30 trial days. Uh, and I'll give you the, the file, which is the entire actual screenshot and also the iPhone frame. So you can just sort of swap these screenshots uh, from inside the app for your own screenshots. So I'll give you this for free. Also the text, you can change the font and change the colors, but I highly recommend you keep this format. This is the best practice in 2019, how to present your app. And this is what looks professional and people will click on it uh, and they'll actually you know, wanna use your app. You can also move this around and you can change the things, but I'll give you this file. Um, it's gonna be in the, uh, in the lecture material and you should really uh, spend some time designing a good looking screenshot for your app store. Now again, if you don't want to invest the time yourself into making the screenshots, you can simply you know, hire somebody to do it for you. Again, I'm using this example of Fiverr. You could use any other app. I'm not trying to promote them. It's just I've, I've used the, the service before and I was pretty satisfied. So you could just look up App Store, oops, App Store screenshots. Um, and then you can see you can get you know, designs from anywhere from five to 20 bucks. Uh, and it's pretty quick. Uh, just make sure that the quality of the screenshots is good and you can communicate what you want. But um, I highly recommend that you invest either the time or the money um, to get really good App Store screenshots. Okay, so here I pulled up an example of a fantastic app icon to sort of show you how to think about app icons. So this is the app on the Play Store. Here it is on the, uh, on the App Store. And you can see the experience is very consistent. It looks similar on both of the stores. Whether you have um, an app uh, for, for iOS or Android or both, uh, the experience should be consistent. Now, what, what I want you to consider here is that when they thought about designing this icon, uh, they thought about who is the ideal customer, who are the users, and what are we trying to communicate with them? 
So this specific app is a journaling app and the users are girls aged 18 to 25 in the US. And since it's a journaling app, they want you to think about the app as your friend, as your companion, right? So they design the icon that communicates that. They design this cute little uh, logo, this, this companion called Reflectly. And the target market or the people that are really supposed to download this app they all say that this is a very cute icon. It, it, you know, it helps them in downloading it. It's consistent. You can see the icon also in the screenshots. So you can know that this is really a sort of a trustworthy brand uh, and they really thought about it. So when you're looking at your icon, you should really you know, think of it this way. Now, if you're not a designer yourself, if you don't have a good design, I highly recommend that you invest a little bit of time or money. So either time that you learn how to make a good icon or uh, a bit of money. So this is a service called Fiverr. Uh, and it's a very sort of cheap outsourcing freelance tool. So if I wanted to get app icon, let's say, and uh, good, and I want to sign up. And then you can see that there's people that will design an icon for you. Uh, and um, you really should, you know, invest a bit of time and money into it. We could also do app logo, for example. And here you can see. So let's say for $5, you can get, and this is a good looking icon. If this was a, <laughs> Um, a, a donkey, I guess, in, in, in sunglasses app. Um, but so for example, this person for $10 will make you a very good looking icon. It takes no time. And I would highly recommend that you get somebody to do a good icon for you because it is important that your app is communicated visually um, very well. It's important that you sort of say to your potential users, look, this is a good trustworthy app and the icon needs to look professional and be part. Now, for example, it, if, you do, if you're having a game, so let's look up a game. Now, the games are a bit different than the apps, right? So you just need to represent what it means very well. So it doesn't have to be, the icon doesn't have to be the, the, the brand name or the app name in some way. It could be, you know, for example, here you can see uh, a gameplay. Uh, it's just very clearly communicates what it is. So you should think about who is your target market, what you're trying to accomplish, and then how you communicate due to that target market. And also once you have your icon, just a little tip, it could be a pain in the ass to export all the different sizes of icons. So I just looked up a quick um, app icon generator because both the Play Store and the App Store require a lot of different sizes. So here's one that I like uh, where you could upload the image that you have, um, whatever image that might be of the app and it will generate all the different sizes um, that you require because this could take like a long time actually. So a uh, quick tip, use an app icon generator and then you can upload your icons to either the app store or, or the play store. And the next part is the uh, video. So here I'm recording on my phone because it's just easier to see. I'm on the app store and videos just basically show and represent your app. Now videos are extremely important because videos how to play on the new app store. Now this means that you don't have to actually click on it, but videos like in this over here, which you can see, this is a, this is a game, they auto play and they will immediately show the user what the app is all about. It's an incredible powerful way to communicate. So you really need to take advantage. So for example, I'm going to, go into search and I looked up meditation before to look up meditation apps and you can see the first one is Headspace and it pops up and the video auto plays and there's basically there's not much creativity you can do so you can't really like talk on camera to show the video what you can do is as you can see if I click on it and you'll see that it's a bit bigger you can show the in-app action so you can see what's actually happening and then uh, on the top of the screen over there where it says create the ideal conditions for healthy restful sleep, you can communicate some of the value and sort of give um, guidance and, and explain people what it is all about. So it is very important that you take advantage of this. Um, and this is a fairly highly designed video. Uh, you don't have to do it so fancy. You can just do simple screen recording of the app and, and just use that. Um, so here's another example of what it looks like. Uh, they said that you get a notification. You can see this, not, this is not highly designed. It's basically a screen recording of the app and they just show you know, how you use the app, how you go about it. And it's a way to catch attention of the people. So when you're scrolling through the app store and there's a lot of apps, then you know, if there's a video that auto plays, it sort of catches your attention um, and, uh, and you'll stop and you look at the app a bit more, more detailed. So definitely, if you have the resources, um, I would definitely recommend that you get an app store video. 
And the same in the Play Store and the Google, there's maybe different formats, but you can always communicate the app through the video, so do it.